Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is John again from Volkswagen Planet and today I'm going to give you guys the final week update on the 1972 Super Beetle. This is the same one that we've been working on that uh, was a big push to get the bug jam this year. Even though the car did physically did not make it, um, we did get a lot of goals met and um, I want to say thank you guys for coming along with the adventure. So let me tell you what we've got done today. Uh, as you guys have um, followed the channel, you know that we've been having a starter issue and the starter, I took it to um, advanced auto parts or auto zone, one of the two. But uh, anyways, we got a 24 hour one here in Tampa, which is the uh, distribution center. Took it there about 2.30 this morning because you, you guys know I don't sleep. So uh, we took it and it failed. It failed miserably on the solenoid and it failed on the uh, starter. So I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with that quite yet but um stay tuned and we'll uh get you updated on that what i'm showing you guys here is i finally got the back two taillights hooked up and um which was is a big um deal for me that one was giving me a hard time but let me show you what it all came down to I'm gonna open the trunk or the deck lid and all it was was simply and see if I can that little ground right there there's two grounds as you can see but uh, one ground was for the tail lights and one ground is actually for or the running lights I'm sorry and one light is for the tag lights speaking of tag lights let's see what we got here and we've got the tag light actually working as well. So the last couple days have been um, a pretty big improvement. Even though yesterday I was working on the starter, today basically just chasing around the grounds and you can see just as how important the grounds actually are. So let me take you up front real quick. Again, I want to say thank you. I, I don't remember the uh, su subscriber's name, but what he did was he mentioned the um, turn signal uh, lenses were on backwards. And what I mean by that is this part here was on the inside, but this was on the, on the driver's side. And um, this one was on the driver's side and that one was on the passenger side. So you wouldn't see the turn signal here. Now, I am still working on this. As you can tell, I do have the uh, running light here. I do have the turn signal here. I do have the turn signal here, but you can see this one's a lot brighter than this one. And I bet you guys know what, that, what causes that. Comment below and let's see if we got the uh, same thing in mind. Now, this one here has the running light. Um, this is when I'm having problems. But as you guys have commented, when I asked you guys what was going on, I kept hitting the test light. I kept grounding the test light out or shorting the test light out. So I'm, I'm just going to get another bulb, even though the bulb was good. I'm going to pull this off and uh, just go ahead and find out why it's uh, being so you know temperamental. But that should be a quick, you know, in and out, couple minute job. Since we do have the headlight switch on, still nothing. Nothing on the um, headlights. But what I just got done doing is I just hook the relay up. I'm going to trace the wires, the yellow and the uh these wires here are mostly for the headlights they involve the headlights the yellow yellow with, with the black stripe white white with the back black stripe yellow and yellow with the black stripe are the wires that deal with the headlights so i've got the relay in i've got the fuse checked and um, like I said, I, I don't have enough time right now due to the weather. I'm only averaging about an hour or so a day to working on the car. 
due to uh, you know personal obligations and um, just everyday life events. But I do want to say thank you guys again for all your guys' help, your support, the ongoing support, your comments that you've been leaving to help me out to uh, put another set of eyes um, on the projects involved. I know sometimes I do call uh, certain parts wrong, and I appreciate you guys uh, correcting that, and I appreciate you guys being respectful when you do that. So, again, I don't mind personally if I'm doing something wrong. Hey, please comment below, but just do it respectfully. Don't, um, don't disrespect yourself, and please do not disrespect other members who uh, or other subscribers who do comment out. Because you got to remember, if they, uh, if you insult them, then all of a sudden they're not going to comment no more. And, you know, that could be the comment that you would like on your channel, but they're just afraid to leave comments because, you know, they may have made a mistake. Or, like, we had a situation on my channel where um, the subscriber was talking about another video. But still, that's water under the bridge. Well, moving forward, I would say 99.99% of the time, everybody's respectful. Everybody's doing a good job. So, thumbs up for you guys. I want to say thank you guys again. Again, um, it's been a great ride so far. And just to, uh, I gave you the guys the walk around. We got the great, huge advancement on the electrical system. We are weeding things out, you know, on a daily basis. Uh, we still have a starter issue, but we know right now the starter is bad. Um, it's basically coming down to do I want to spend 80 bucks on a Duralast and just throw it up there or take my Bosch. And get it rebuilt you know maybe that could be a future video or just uh, break down and spend 125 bucks and um, go to the local VW shop here Fisher buggies and grab a stock Bosch replacement remanufactured uh, starter but uh, I got some time to think about it because like I said the weather's moving in and we said we got like 70 or 80 percent chance of uh, rain because we're going from like mid 70s down to the uh, mid 60s or low 60s and actually down to the high to the uh, low to mid 50s tonight. So the cold weather's coming in. You guys know that means the rain's coming in. But I want to say thank you guys again. It's been a great week. And um, I said, I, I can't thank you guys enough. So like, comment, share, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment or don't. I want to thank you guys for the view. Thank you guys for stopping by, and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care, and God bless.